All right. Oh, you, I know that this this restaurant has a religious uh, meaning symbols. So she's gonna explain us later on all the details, and hopefully YouTube doesn't censor this video as sexual content. Hopefully, I don't know. We see. We see how things go. Hello. Oh, nice. A beautiful restaurant. Yes, it's okay. Oh, I would love to sit by the window so we have lots of light. Ah, we can even sit here. Oh, very beautiful. All right. Shall we sit here? Yeah. And I'm going to need a I'm going to need explanation about this restaurant. I'm sure people have lots of questions why there's a penis shaped things all around us. It's a religious um from uh, what's that? Just give me a second. Yeah? Don't worry. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> No, don't worry. No, yeah, she's. It's from lamb to fucking leg. Okay. He's known as divine meat man. He's a like crazy saint who came all the way from Tibet. Uh huh. Okay, and then. Like, so is this um like a it, uh, bad energy? Or, uh, yeah. or is this a good thing? The, it's good and good, good thing. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, actually, the palace, it's, you will see like paintings and then the, the things yeah. to subdue the evil forces. Uh -huh. And another thing, the reason he used palace, like it's called like flaming thunderbolt. Uh -huh. that it, like he, he used that to get enlightened. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah? okay. It's like kind of teaching okay. in his own way. All right. So that's why it's, he, he's known as like a uh, divine madman. All right. Like but what uh, what stuff. this penis uh, things has like yeah. a symbol? What's it the main symbol of it? So it's a good energy. Yeah. Okay. Subdue the evil and bring the good lucks. Good lucks. Okay. Yeah. So it's a good luck basically. Good luck, yeah. All right. So we, I'm sure we're going to have lots of good luck. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so uh, are we going to... You guys gonna decide what I eat, right? Sure, sure. Please, yeah, I don't know. All right, this is a very interesting restaurant as we arrived, and even our salt and pepper looks like penis shape, but it has a religious and spiritual meaning in the region, so this is nothing new for me. Uh, seeing, seeing all of these shapes and but this is the first time I'm at a, at a restaurant something like this so it's very unique and we can check out um, the menu as well this is the restaurant name called Palus Palates or Plates and I'm gonna try some traditional and local Bhutanese food so they have some wine, beer, coffee, soft drinks, shots and red rice and i don't know what's gonna be the, the main meal but we see yeah and i asked my driver and the guy to sit with me i think normally that's not a normal practice what they do probably clients sit different and they sit different but i want them to be with me which is much better for me and a better experience So as a first impressions guys, I think it's incredible, it's very quiet and uh, Bhutan doesn't have a huge population anyway and also at the same time doesn't receive tons of tourists uh, for several reasons and one of them is being uh, pricey and uh, expensive to even rich here but on, the, on top of that you have to pay a tourist tax which is uh, quite high for other people like uh, who is doing just um, budget traveling, backpacking and stuff like that, then that's basically out of uh, the list for those people. So people come here, mostly I, I based on the, my flight um, uh, dem demographics, I, I felt like most of the people were uh, older generation and they were traveling in a group actually. So yeah, first impressions is just amazing. Uh, we're gonna wait whatever food gonna come out, but let me show you the restaurant itself uh, for 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 the views and as well as uh, to understand what's going on here. So I think this is what we were looking at. This is kind of like fighting with the devil, 
right here so i think that's what it is explaining us and on the other side we have also a very beautiful painting work right here it's very interesting and there's also painting painting <laughs> inside the painting and if you are a big group i think it's a quite beautiful and a nice place to sit here as well enjoy the views to the city which is very quiet at the moment and enjoy some quality artwork here and learn about the culture and the history and the tradition and the religion of this beautiful country all right guys once the food is here we're gonna connect and i will show you everything as possible so we have uh, we are gonna get more details about the paintings and oh. this is what we were looking at here how did you call this this is flaming thunderbolt bolt uh, or ball thunderbolt Ball. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. Flaming, flaming thunderbolt. Kind of flower. Okay. The with, uh, ah, the flames. Rules, flames yeah. comes out of it, and yeah. he's he's subduing the evil. Okay, so fighting with the evil right yeah. here. Okay, and you mentioned that uh, we're gonna visit that this. That monastery is known as Chimilakang. It's in Punaka. Okay, we will we go will there tomorrow. Visiting tomorrow. Amazing, beautiful. And then here I see that uh, different paintings. I'm not sure if you have any explanation one, for those, but uh, yeah. uh, actually, you don't have to have explanation yeah, for I'm them. I'm not sure of this. Case. But I like the paintings; they are very beautiful. And actually, this is known as Atsara. We see in some Max dances. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the painting over there shows, like, especially in Bhutanese house, in front of Bhutanese house, like wall uh -huh. or entrance, you will see like uh, the what's that? Pen uh, penis. Oh, penis, photo, okay. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. The main reason to paint with it is because to subdue the evil, evil forces and okay. bring the good luck. Okay, so it yeah. just keeps away all the, the evil evils, uh, yeah. evil energy and evil forces yeah. and protects the, the environment, the environment and, the and the house and the house place. Family. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Seems like there's some yes. more painting, but it's kind of hidden behind this. These paintings are very beautiful and very detailed. Okay, that's uh, that's we shouldn't look at. <laughs> I think there's a painting that YouTube will say no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, but uh, we're gonna check it and out later on one. after the video. So he's the one. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Beautiful. And we change our place. We're gonna sit actually in this table because I think the plate is gonna be quite big. Yes. Okay. So it's gonna be very interesting. I will try to show you. But uh, I want to give you details about the money because we just changed some local money and I'm sure you are interested as much as I'm interested how the money looks like. And I think uh, Lily, Leila, you will be explaining us what we are seeing here. Oh, so okay. we have right now, this is the biggest bill you have yeah, in, in okay. Bhutan, 1,000. And this is the current king, king. and his picture on the 1,000. And uh, the behind it. Fort of Timpu. Ah, okay. Tito. Is this, uh, where is this? This is in Timpu. Timpu, okay. So it's here, in yes, this city. Yeah. All right. So this was a 1,000, and then I think I have seen 500, yeah. 500. So this is a 500, and uh, the local money is called Niltrum. 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 And Niltrum means uh, silver coin in the translation? Yeah. Something like so, that. Yeah. Okay. So interesting, yeah. Uh, it's basically called Niltrum. And on 500, there's the first king's first picture, king. right? Yeah. This and is the first pic first king's so picture. Again. This is fort ah, this is Paro. Paro, okay. Ring Pung Zong. You All will right. be seeing this. We will see that too. Yeah, after tomorrow. All right. <laughs> after 500 comes, I think, 100, but I don't have 100 here. Do you have 100? I have 100. Oh, thank you. And then this is the another one, 50 Niltrum and we have the current king's picture on it again on 50s uh, i have 10. Uh, uh, this is five okay 55 oh thank you so uh, this is 100 this is 100 and who is this our fourth king fourth king yeah all right so the current king's pictures are on uh 1000 50 and something else and who are this fourth, 20 fourth. this is fourth yeah. and this one too fourth yeah. fourth this is 10 
and this is 10 this is 100 20 and we have the five issues do you also have coins in bhutan we used to have but we don't use you don't use it okay so because five is already small enough <laughs> no no don't worry I, it's not i'm just asking the question like we don't have to see no really Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just interested because some countries don't have coins at really? all. Yeah. Okay. And currently, one American dollars is around 83 uh, niltrum, Bhutanese niltrum, and you can see the exchange rate right here. And we changed some money, and uh, they gave us actually lots of uh, so like hundred dollar. Uh, one second, hundred dollar would be eight thousand three hundred uh, niltrum. Perfect. Thank you so much for explanation. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just wait for the food, and I'm gonna show you the food presentation and everything comes with it, guys. See you later on. All right, our food is here. And as the restaurant theme, the restaurant uh, food presentation also comes like uh, penis shaped. And uh, we're gonna have some traditional food but at the same time we are getting some tea and i love chai in south asia region in general so we're gonna see what type of chai they have and i heard they have butter butter salt butter salt uh, milk tea so we're gonna try that out as well all right i'm not sure what's the name of the food but we're gonna check what's the name of the food is a noshapa what's the name of this noshampa noshapa yeah nosha noshapa dry beef okay and this one is a pumpkin soup it's a pumpkin soup yeah. oh wow thank you so much very kind right oh more more things are coming ah these are wow we have so many liquid things Butter suja, salt. what's suja? Butter salt tea. Butter salt tea, yeah. okay. And what's the white thing? It's a curd. It's a curd, wow. You ordered all of this? No, it comes with the food. Oh, yeah. it's a package. package. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that's gonna be a huge feast. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a dinner later on, but it seems like this is lots of food. Mm -hmm. And it seems like Bhutanese people love lots of rice too, you mentioned, right? Spicy curry. Spicy curry too. As I'm taking right now with red chili. <laughs> so ah, yours is more spicy. spicy. Wow, there's so many chili pieces here and big portion of rice. Yeah. And yeah, you and have you have what do you have? Same. same, same. Okay. Maybe it's chicken or same, same. Yeah, same. Okay. Uh, this is the traditional Bhutanese food? Yeah. Okay, so what, what we are looking at here? We have a rice. We have red rice. This is our traditional local rice. Red rice, yeah. okay. Here I'm taking pork with red chili and radish. It's called shakampa. Sikampa. 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 Okay. And paste. <laughs> red chili paste with onion. <laughs> okay, so how do you eat this? You just mix yeah, all together mix and then with eat? with the rice and eat. Okay, and a little bit of a uh, cucumber, cucumber there as well. Here, and then Pumpkin soup pumpkin we soup. have, we have, and this is the salted butter, salted tea. butter tea. I'm yes, very interested to see. <laughs> Our traditional tea. Is that sweet? No, it's salty. It's salty it's actually. The flavor of butter. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. Enjoy okay. your lunch. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, one more question: In like in other countries in South Asia, do you do you eat with your hands yeah, as we well? Do. You do. Hand. Okay, and today you're gonna eat with hand or no? I will eat with spoon. <laughs> you will use spoon. Okay, okay. Then I will use the spoon. Oh no, too. you want to use hand? I I, I, I learned. I know how to eat with oh, hand. Okay, yeah, I learned it. I will wash my hands. We both will I, wash your hands and come. Um. What you say? This is the traditional way. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, we eat by hand. At home, you eat with hand. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I washed my hands right now, yeah. so I'm so gonna. I'm gonna try it out. So we will wash our hand on Yeah, but you do whatever you like, guys. I, <laughs> no, hand, no yeah. stress. But I'm gonna try with hand. Okay, sure. Okay. All right. First, I wanna try out this uh, salt, salted butter milk tea. Interesting. It's gonna be salty, uh, as you, she mentioned. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be similar to tea experiences I have been in the other countries in South Asia. 
Mm. Hmm. There's a T in this? Yeah. There's a T? Yeah. Ah, okay. I cannot really feel the T itself. I can feel the butter texture. Butter, salt, tea. Butter, salt. Uh, I can feel the butter yeah. uh, texture in my mouth and then the saltiness into it. And then there's obviously milk. Hmm. I think Pakistani Indian tea gonna be still my favorite in South Asia for sure. But this is nice. I think some cold, cold winter drink at <laughs> yes. home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is nice. But not the way I was expecting the tea to be. All right. Oh wow! More things are coming. Thank you so much. But finished. No more food, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. It's time to. Enjoy the lunch. Yes, I want to try out with my hand to see, or maybe I just use fork. I just use fork. I see lots of vegetables here. And this is the dry beef, right? Wow, that's a huge piece actually. So you have a dry beef and then some vegetables. So let's try it out. And normally Bhutanese people love to eat very spicy, but I ordered less spicy as a tourist. So let's try this out, guys. First Bhutanese food. Mm. Still spicy, but very tasty. The vegetables are very, very good. And we have uh, two big pieces of uh, meat here as well. I think I need my two hands to cut that. But the rice is so good. So normally rice, red rice, you grow it in Bhutan or is this exported? It's in Bhutan. In Bhutan, wow. So like, why this is your favorite, not the white rice? Because this is our local rice. Local we rice. Wow, very nice. Yeah. We don't grow any pretty big quantity, only enough for the family. Uh -huh. Nice. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Enjoy your food, your food guys. And Thank you. Don't, wor don't worry about me. Is this for me? Yeah, pork. Uh, this is pork. Yeah, but it's going to be too much for me. But I will try. No, I will try only a little <laughs> piece of it. All right. This is our so first so Bhutanese good. food experience. Wedges are super tasty and they were super fast actually to cook everything for us and they brought all these things for us. Three different, actually four different type of uh, drinks and one of them is actually pumpkin soup and I want to try out the pumpkin soup as well. Mm, very tasty. Right guys. The first food Bhutan's experience. I will see you later on. Alright guys, food was amazing, a little bit spicy. I had a little bit crying time, but it was all good. The vegetables, the meat, everything was great. Presentation of it was amazing. And it's very unique uh, restaurant and I'm grateful to experience it like at least once a lifetime. And yeah, I think I'm not sure if I showed you all this rest of these beautiful paintings but yeah it's time to go slowly as we have to move forward to new places thank you so much there's a 500 for you it's a little tip please thank you so much you've been very kind thank you thank you see you bye bye next time yes i am vlogger i make videos yes uh, do you want my name i write it for you i can write it here okay i write it for you it's a uh, follow you oh thank you so much it's a D A V U D, and this is A. Okay. D A V U D A K H. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you so much. And if you are a big group, then this is where you would be sitting, basically. And they also have a outside area, which I really liked. They do, I think, kind of like a fireplace. They have a. Um, they have a little oven on the left side which looks beautiful so you can also sit outside in a nice weather enjoy the views mountains and the different architectural houses and they do have a little <coughs> uh, bar here too very beautiful and this was their kitchen area where everything 
happen here in magic as you can see very clean and very beautiful all right are you warming up <laughs> you're cold <laughs> oh we have a more artwork here interesting about uh, palus how do you do they call the name palus Palus. Palus palettes yeah. palettes or plates 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 or palettes palus plates Palettes, palettes, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Thank you. We have the soap also inside washrooms. Ah, yes, I have seen that. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah. I show it. I think it's open, yeah? And it's very interesting as you are washing your uh, hands. This is their toilet. And they have a soap. Looks like this. And if you want to rub it, you have to basically do this, which is a little bit gay, but we go. <laughs> it's funny does it make me gay if i have to wash my hand with that soap <laughs> maybe <laughs> thank you guys all the best and see you what was a uh, good luck tasha deli tasha deli bye bye good luck guys oh they have a big tip box i had to put the money there not to the girl <laughs> i think it's hard to take the money out later on